products used were given to me and I was not paid for Hi this everyone, video. I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel and welcome into my studio. Uh, today I'm just sharing with you this uh, scarf that I knitted uh, recently and um, it is so nice and, and soft and warm and it's made from an alpaca blend wool. And what's different about this knitting project from a lot of other knitting projects is that this one I knit on an oval loom. So I knit the scarf on the oval loom from Leisure Arts. The uh, Leisure Arts is a company that I work with and they provided me with the tools uh, that I have here. And I use a yarn from uh, Yarn Inspirations. I use the Patton's Alpaca Blend. I used the Smoke and, well, <laughs> sorry, this, uh, the Ultraviolet, sorry. The ball fell apart there. Um, and uh, so thank you to Leisure Arts and to Yarn, it's Yarn Inspirations. And I will have links for those uh, companies on uh, my blog. So if you're interested in purchasing the same products, uh, to make this project or any other project you can go to my blog and click those links and by the way those are affiliate links so uh, if you do make a purchase I do receive a small commission so thank you so I knit this on an oval loom and it I got this kit from Leisure Arts you get two looms you get this large loom that's in there inside this box you also get this smaller loom and this is the one I used to knit the scarf you get the hook here this is what the tool that you use to do the knitting and it comes with this instruction booklet oval loom knitting beginner's guide to oval loom knitting and in here it does explain to you how to do the basic uh, stitches and some other stitches on the loom and that's what I did I just follow the instructions and I have to tell you they're very clear I'm very pleased with that and I made this scarf I modified the design slightly but I did follow the instructions I chose to knit uh, this scarf on the small loom I made it slightly bigger than the child size that is provided in the instructions in the booklet and smaller than the adult size. So it's kind of in between. It's what I wanted for my own use. And I made it as long as I wanted. So this, I wanted this length, so this is as long as I made it. Yeah, it's very scientific. And I also added these little flowers uh, that I made with another loom, that I made with uh, another flower loom from a different company. So, if you uh, have never knitted on a, a loom before, an oval loom or, or a round loom or any kind of loom like that, and you're interested in knowing uh, how to do that, uh, stay tuned because I have some video footage of me knitting this particular, this specific scarf, and I also show you how to cast on a, uh, knit, a knitting loom. So, uh, enjoy! Knitting on a loom is slightly different than your traditional knitting with two needles. You use a stitching tool here and a loom, of course. So to begin, we want to wrap the number of pegs we need to use for our project. Uh, in the case of this scarf, I needed to wrap 25 pegs. To begin doing that, I take a one end of the yarn, I leave a 12 inch tail on the outside of the loom facing me, and then I start wrapping each peg all the way around clockwise until the 25 pegs or however many pegs I need are covered. However, if I uh, want to knit a hat or a scarf, then uh, I would, not a scarf, but if I wanted to knit a hat, let's say, I would uh, wrap probably all the pegs around the entire loom, and that means I would uh, just continuously knit round and round. 
but in this case since we are looking to make a scarf um, and it's not round I just need to knit in a straight line back and forth and there you go that is how you uh, prepare the pegs for knitting Now, here I'm showing you how to knit one stitch. I have contrasting colored yarns to show you better. So you see, you wrap the peg, you lift up the bottom loop that was already on the peg, you go over, and you just adjust the tension there to make sure the peg is wrapped. Now, in this part, uh, part of the pattern suggests skipping the every other peg and then knitting every other peg and that's what I'm doing there. I'm skipping by just dragging the yarn behind a peg and then wrapping the next one and knitting that peg. So that's how you get this uh, effect and you get the twisted garter stitch with the contrasting colored yarns. Now just continue to uh, knit every other peg all the way across and when we get to the end we need to uh, knit back but we're going to use the purl stitch and the purl stitch is done a little differently. Uh, what you do differently is that you take your yarn, your working yarn, and you skip one peg. You Put it in front of the next peg but you put it at the bottom of the loop that is already on the peg. Um, uh, let's look at that again. So you take the yarn, and you see there it's at the bottom, you take your hook, you lift up the working yarn back up over and you put it back onto the peg. Skip a peg, Uh, the yarn is at the bottom, your tool goes in to the top loop, you pull a loop from the working yarn, lift the entire thing up off the peg, and put the new loop right back on the peg. And that's how you do a purl stitch. And in this case, this is how you do the garter stitch, because you are skipping every other peg. Here we go again with the purl stitch. Just one more time just so you can see it. There you go.
So now we are knitting back. I'm just going to show you how that's done again in case you forgot. So you take the bottom loop, go over the new loop you just made with the working yarn. Let's do that again. So when we're using the violet uh, colored yarn, we use every peg. So we wrap the peg, we take the bottom loop, pass it over the working yarn loop we just made, and that's our knit stitched. And then you just go all the way across like that. It's a simple knit stitch. So in this project, you have um, one row is knitted, the next one is purled, and when you use the contrasting yarn, you use every other peg. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was informative. I hope that you will like, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Until next time, stay crafty everyone. Bye!